Hello to my Strayer English 115 composition students. I want to give you a quick demonstration on how to submit your paper to Grammarly and how to get an error report for it. So I am in week three of your web text, section 3.9 exactly, or page 3.9. You want to scroll all the way down until you see log into Grammarly. Read all of these instructions, especially if you do not have a Grammarly account or if this is your very first time signing in as a Strayer University student. You want to highlight and right click to copy this access code because you will need to verify your registration if you are a very first time user and you will need to use Strayer's access code so that you will not be charged for the service. So once you, um, when you're ready to get in, click Grammarly. If you are a new user, you will need to click sign up at the top of the page. But as you can see, I have used this before. I have an account. It is automatically logging me in. Okay, when you get to the screen, there are a few things you want to do first. Well, first you need to upload your paper. You wanna click upload. If you click new, you will need to copy and paste your paper into their text box. I don't want you to do that. Go ahead and click upload, which means you will need to find your paper where you have saved it. Click it, click open, and Grammarly begins to upload your paper. Now you need to check these settings. Go all the way down to the last icon here. Vocabulary Enhancement is on. Go to the Plagiarism icon. Make sure that you click on. Now go to this pen icon where it says Document Type. You want to click Academic and then you want to click Essay. So it is now churning and churning and running a report on what you have just submitted. You want to double check these settings again under Pen. Make sure all of these are on make sure all of these are on right so now if you look towards the bottom of your page you can see your word count 1363 words if you click it you can see the characters click again you can see the reading time click again and you can see the speaking time click again and you're back to words this paper has eight critical issues 43 advanced issues and six percent of it is unoriginal based on the plagiarism report this is not my writing this is an old student paper and there is a score here of 87 you want to click this green score button and it gives you an overview of the report for your paper okay it says excellent job just to be encouraging it looks like you just need a little polishing <laughs> look out for style and contextual spelling mistakes during your review because there's still quite a lot that needs to be fixed here okay so web text is asking for this score your score is 87 out of 100 if you look at the web text it's asking you short answer question at the bottom of the Grammarly page what score did you receive well we have already clicked the bottom of the Grammarly page and we have a report so that's the score that it's looking for you need to go ahead and download the detailed report and use it to fix your paper I'm using Google Chrome so it is automatically downloading to the left of my screen go ahead and close this out now in order to see what you need to fix scroll down the screen and here it has made suggestions Grammarly has made suggestions throughout your paper on what you need to fix so click anything that's highlighted scroll down a little bit so that you can see that entire pop-up box it's telling you what the error is and a possible way to fix it now depending on the context of how you're using the word you may need to change it or maybe that's how you meant it so if it's how you meant it you can click ignore when you're done with this box you can click out and go to another part of your paper and click the suggestion here so you want to do that scroll all the way down to the bottom because you, you can see there are a lot of things uh, that it's uh, telling you about here it says unoriginal text but as you can see the student has attempted to put an APA citation 
telling where he got that information. So you want to check that, but if you put a source citation, then you're going to be fine, okay? But you just don't want to have a whole lot of citations in it. So 6% is actually pretty good because that means the majority of the paper he wrote himself. If you have a high number, that means you have way too many sources in your paper and you need to rely on your own writing and not on sources. So scroll all the way down to the bottom and that is how you use Grammarly to fix your paper. And if you are a Strayer University student, this is how you use Grammarly to complete your web text work. Okay, hopefully this demonstration has been helpful to you. Thank you so much and happy learning.